Good morning to the Lower Mainland. Good morning, Canada. Welcome back to BT. Four wide here on the couch. Thanks again to AJ McLean. That was pretty cool. Yeah, we just danced with the Backstreet Boys. Cool. Like, nice. What? Awesome. Like, my 14-year-old self is not here right now. Yeah. Just dance. You guys crushed it. <laughs> it yeah, like, thank you. Yeah, well, we didn't embarrass yeah. ourselves, yeah. right? Yeah. I was worried all morning about it. Me too. Stressed. Are you at home practicing in the mirror? <laughs> no. Uh, oh. Yeah, maybe I was. Maybe I was. All right, uh, moving on to another story here. I'm late on this, but we gotta we gotta uh, update you on what's going on literally above us. Uh, in orbit. Two NASA astronauts on board uh, a Boeing Starliner are, are right now in space. Uh, they launched June 5th. The mission was supposed to last eight days due to mechanical issues. It's now been 36 straight days. Oh my gosh. And due to leaks and thruster failures, almost derailing the entire mission, uh, they can't really come home right now. Um, yesterday they had a press conference for this rather unique situation. It went like this. Um, I, I feel confident. That <laughs> our spacecraft, and we can undock, talk to our team, and figure out the best way to come home. Um, yeah, we've, like I said, we've practiced a lot, so I have a feeling, I have a, a real good feeling in my heart that uh, the spacecraft will, br will bring us home, no problem. Uh, again. Thruster malfunctions and leaks of helium are delaying their return. At what day, because this is day 36 for them, what day would you freak out in space? Who'd like to go first? Seven. Day seven. I know you're, not, you're only supposed to be there uh, for eight days, but I feel like if they already didn't have a plan in place to bring me back at, at you know, day seven, there's, there's trouble. And the trouble consistently to try to get this thing up initially. Remember, it was canceled launch yep. after canceled launch. So... I'm, I'm genuinely afraid for them. I hope they come back. Meredith Shaw? I know that there's genuine concern right now, but I have to say something about her hair. <laughs> I can't get over that hair. A lack of gravity will take Where over. Where is the hair elastique? Yes. Yeah. That's what I would miss if I were up there. Yeah. I know. Anyway, I know. There are much more serious things. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the fact that they, uh, you know, were, were stopped from the launch when they were strapped in, uh, it, it just... It gives such pause. The calm that the, they both have. Uh, I'd love to see when the camera feed shut off and then maybe the conversation that they had between the two of them. Because that, I mean, from 8 to 36, that's a very long time. At what point does this get actually dangerous? We know the mental fortitude it takes to, to get up there in the first place and be an astronaut and to, to be in that world and, and really prepare for that. But, yeah, and what if you don't, Look, when I saw that, I saw that live, right? And I, I thought it was one of those, like, parody videos because at first when I saw Sonny's hair, I was yeah, like, oh, what is happening with that? Which, But how calm and relaxed they were. But what if you don't like the other person that much? And you're like, you know what? It's going to be a week. It's going to be a couple of uh, 10 days. It'll be fine. I'll get along with it. Now it's over a month, and you're not in a space. You're in a spaced-out area. You're tight quarters. We'll, uh, well, we'll keep updating you on this. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. They'll get home soon. <laughs>